Hey, what's up, y'all? My name is Ty Mizzle. You watch my channel, Mizzle 14, and I'm back with Southern Charm New Orleans, y'all. This is the second season of New Orleans. I watched the first season and I only did the finale review. So go back to my videos to check my playlist and Southern, Southern Charm playlist and watch that review and see how my viewpoints and then go into this one. All right, so this is the new season. Yes, I'm doing the regular Southern Charm. And I'm also doing Southern Charm New Orleans. So I'm doing both. I decided to do both. So I don't know. I thought I was not going to continue doing Southern Charm. But I end up liking it. So let me see, continue doing on. So watch my video. I did upload that one last night. So let's do a little New Orleans, y'all. Alright, so basically the same cast is back again. And we don't know any other new people will be coming. It seems like Rachel, who is Tamika's friend, is probably be, will probably make a more permanent spot in this season. But so far, all the new cast is still the same. So, we remember Tamika. I mean, I have a up and down thing with Tamika. Like, I like Tamika, but at the same time, I don't really care for Tamika. How she acts and how she judges others. Because she has a tendency to judge others and feel like how she should be, be and what she needs to be. Or what it needs to be and how things should be run. How people should act. And I was like, it's not always one cookie cutter solution to every problem. It's like that. So, it's... Sometimes Tamika needs to get in her own head and stop judging everyone. All right? Especially last... The whole last season, she was having a whole tumultuous problem of her own marriage. She wasn't spending time with her kids. She would use work at a time. Going off of her kids. Not spending time with her husband. A handsome-ass guy. And you're not spending time with him. You're not having sex. You're not doing that much. It's like... It was too much. And but yet she was going around judging others and not able to take care of her own home. But now she said this season is better. She said she's not working that, that much. She's doing the evening anchor so she has more time to work and be with her kids. It's like that. So it's different now. Barry's still doing personal training and basically he got more clientele than before. So it's not growing. And she said Tamika Fuse is longer now it's not the short because before last season Tamika would blow up real quickly but she said her fuse is longer and she's better now in a good place good space they moved to um Mendeville um Louisiana I think because it's in New Orleans on um, Mendeville and it's a good beautiful house and she's doing more with her kids and everything so they happy they're in a good space right now um Hunter is his baby son before a baddie son, which is Tamika the stepmom, she um he go to homecoming and he asks his girlfriend to go to homecoming through a text messages. I said social media is a bitch. Um, <laughs> text messages is crazy now, huh? But he asks her to do text messages, something like that. He's 15 years old, you know, phone is what it is. And that was that. And Tamika did mention that when she was first met with Barry, she didn't want any kids. And um, Bally had a son, like I think he was two and a half at the time we met Tamika, and she cringed. But when she saw the boy, she's like, oh my gosh, he's so beautiful, he's so adorable, so like that. And she just changed her mind, and then they had a the daughter together. So it's like, it's a good, it's really good. All right, so Jeff and Reagan, we know whole last season, Jeff and Reagan was going through this whole little up and down relationship. I mean, Jeff, um, got cut off doing football he had concussions he got injured so he was cut off that act so that made him very depressed and very angry angry very um moody to the point that it's very difficult and reagan try to be there for him and i guess that every time she asks a simple question he kind of blows up so he admits that that he had a problem he had an anger problem he was very moody he wasn't making it he was being very difficult he tends to lie Instead of covering his whole, instead of telling his whole truth to his wife, so it was very difficult for Vega to deal with that. At the same time, that's what it took her, took to her to move out to study to her own little uh, quarter she was living in to study for exams because she's running away from the problems she having with Jeff, and they was trying, she trying to play it off like put a put, um, a face to everyone, to put a front to everyone, like everything was good but everything wasn't. So she said. She did have a pregnancy scare last the end of last season, but she was not pregnant. And after that pregnancy scare, five months after that, they separated. 
and then a year later they get divorced. So in a week, their divorce will be finalized. But they both say they still keep in contact with each other. They still communicate with each other. They still have love for each other. And I want you to understand, y'all been together for a while now. And I don't think that love should be cut off. I don't understand some couples, like, once you get divorced, you done. Once you broke up with your ex, you done, done. But there are some people out there who become better friends with their exes than they was as lovers. And I guess this is one of the situations that when they was together, it couldn't work. But now when they separate and they now part, is they have a better understanding for each other. They were able to be cool. They were able to be friends. And maybe their marriage didn't work out, but their friendship could still go on. And sometimes it's not so easy to just cut people off because you may not know he might be a good person, access to you, and be a good friend. Maybe not going to be too much as communication when you start getting your own relationships because then they're going to realize, like, what all this, what is going on. But um, I'm a firm believer. It's like, listen, if you do make, if you become friends with your ex or whatever, your ex husbands like that, and y'all be cool, very cool, and y'all can still support each other. I'm more power to it. Who to me to judge to judge you and how you should grieve and how you should process it and what you should do after you get divorced. That's not my responsibility. That's not my place to tell you that. And that's why I was upset with Tamika in this freaking episode because she was so into telling Reagan how she should grieve and how she should be with this divorce. And I said, why? And she thinks she had a lot of that. No. Maybe. She's still happy. Maybe it should have been a time period where y'all separate. And then y'all work in your feelings out and everything. But, hey, it is what it is. Y'all still have love for each other. And I just hope that y'all can still be cool and still be good friends for each other. Even though y'all cannot be with each other anymore. Alright, so. Yeah, so that was that. Uh, Reagan moved to a um, lake house. Lakeville. What was it? She moved to Lakeville. View. Lake View. And she's studying for her bar exam because I did she graduate from law school now she studied for a bar exam to take the exam to be a lawyer. So I was like, hope she does well. And she has a new man and his name is Vise. So we'll see how that goes about that. But um That was that. Alright, so Justin and Kelsey, you remember Justin was the guy who really was dealing with Kelsey, but not really shooting could really commit to um make his his wife and maybe taking a slow time at the time when he was modeling his house he was they would stay with his mom just be there kelsey being there for a do at this then thick do thick and then but justin was like dragging his feet like at the end of last season tamiko's accent this is the woman you want to marry he said yeah this is the woman i like to be with it's like that but that's not what you said before and i would say oh tamiko's always in the middle of shit but it caused a little tension. So, Justin, you got to realize if this is Kelsey you want. So, the worst thing you could do is waste a woman's time. You wasted her time. You wasted her years. She wasted the time that she could be dealing with somebody else and being with you. And I say sometimes women does this, that they, they will work with you, be with you, be with you, be with you. Not only they wasted their time being with you, but they just feel so hard and they want to start all over. So, they try to work so hard to get you what they want. Which is the ring or the kids and the house and stuff like that. So when he was a the house, they would stay in their mom's house. And that was not too much glad. So now, they're back in their model house. And it's good. It look nice. And he said he gave Kelsey more control of the um, decorations of the place. I mean, I mean, if I get a house, I don't know if I can be able to decorate the whole house. So I'll probably get somebody to decorate my shit too. But Lawrence is good and not too out, out there. And good to my taste. But, um, that... And he also dedicated a whole room as a closet. It called a Kelsey closet. I said, damn, that's nice. Okay. He didn't get him a ring yet, but he at least showed her that he's dedicated and this could be the long one. They have a dog together and that, that dog was knocked out the fuck. He was he was a such an attention. He said, Oh bitch, I had a long day and all that stuff. So it's cool. And the dog <laughs> it was funny the beginning of the episode, the dog jumped in the bed and had his freaking Jeff shoe in his mouth and laying in the bed. I said, Oh sh- Justin, Justin shoe in his mouth and laying on the bed. I said, Oh, okay. <laughs> but oh, they also talk about their weight loss game on weight loss together and working on losing weight together. Cause Justin said he when he see himself, he just realized he didn't like it. And he had Kelsey work out and weight loss with him. And Kelsey didn't even think she needed to lose weight. 
But now she look like it. She's like, oh my gosh, I feel good. I like it. It feels great for to lose the weight. So they do a lose, lose weight together. And I said, like, a couple goals. That's how you do it. Do things together. You with someone and y'all want to work out? Work out goals. Couple goals. Go out to eat goals. Something like that. Do things as a couple that will make your thing fresh. And the fact that they doing this together, um, losing weight together, it makes a good memorable experience for them. A shared experience that they do things as a couple. All right? So, um, that was that. So, Vega and Tamika met up at the, um, I guess, little drinks and stuff like that. And they did with the bond and talking and stuff like that. And Tamika just asking Reagan about how things going with the divorce because she feel like that she don't really know much about the divorce and everything because Reagan hasn't been coming to me. We are best friends. We fight like sisters and stuff like that. And then we come together and stuff like that. But it just bothers me that she hasn't been coming to me and telling me and think um thinking about this divorce. And now, but Tamika mind is feel like, okay, how's it going on with you and Jeff? And she, uh, Reagan was talking about how things is good. It's like we are good space right now. We are good friends. We could be good friends to each other, we talk to each other a lot, we um, cover each other, we support each other, and to me it was like, wow, because in a perfect world, that doesn't happen, it's like, perfect world, people, exes, that's done, they cut off, they don't go back, but I was like, in some cases, people does become good friends with their exes or ex-husbands like that after they realize they didn't work out in the marriage, but it doesn't mean that as a person, they're a bad person, it's just that in the marriage, it didn't work out, so, but... Tamika feel like Vega is still on delusional La La Land, like everything's all peachy and clean. You so you said, oh, we are good, you are happy. But I said, I understand because last year I didn't get that impression that you was okay. You put up against front that you were so happy, and all of a sudden you get divorced and it's all finalized. And what happened? And she compared to her man, she said, no. Uh, me and Mary, uh, me and Barry, we got the divorce one time. Oh, we was going through the divorce. I remember Tamika did explain last season that they did separate it, and she was going to leave him. And I guess she worked, came back and they worked it out and they're good now. But she made a comparison that, oh, we work it out and we were decided to be with Barry at the end of the day. Rega, on the other hand, yes, she wanted to work out with Jeff, but at the same time, they realized as a couple and they had a mutual agreement to make a split. Because it was a to toxic relationship for each other, and they cannot continue that down path. So they decided to break, make ends with it. And they decided, and in a good term, they didn't end up being mad at each other. They didn't all end up fighting each other, be abusive. Nobody was going to jail. So why not have a, um, a break divorce? Not every divorce is a freaking bad, rocky divorce. Some divorce is realized, you know what? We just ain't work out. And they just end it. And they just realized it was no hard feelings. There's no um, animosity towards each other. They just realized that it was not the time and it's running its course. Some marriages just run its course. Like you just like you just fall in and out of love with the person. It doesn't mean like you can't love the person anymore. You just probably fall in and out in love with them. And I think this is exactly the problem was that Jeff realized he was too difficult. Reagan realized it was too much to bear with. So they ended the quits. And I had no problem with that. But to make it feel like it shouldn't be done. It's just like, listen, one way y'all was act like y'all good together, understand y'all divorced now. Now y'all say y'all really good best BFFs. It's like, come on now. Like, and you didn't have to tell me all this. And I should be the one to be there to know all this stuff like that. And yes, y'all best friends, but then does she really want to talk or tell you how much she failed? And it was say, and people's like, we don't know how so much she could support you because like, y'all both are good friends to us and it's going to be difficult and all that stuff. And, it is what it is what it is you just gotta support them as both as can especially when you have they both a good um friend circle and they don't want to put you out of positions they got to choose sides so they in a position where they could be cordial with each other and not act like they are better enemies because it would be worse if they act like they're better enemies and then you want to invite jeff and then you invite jeff that Reagan will have a problem if jeff is invited and then you invite Reagan, jeff will have a problem that Reagan's invited they don't want that atmosphere so i've realized I think they'd be good. Yes, there may be some still love there, maybe some real visual feelings, but as time passes, that feelings will start going away, and they realize it's not gonna happen. So let's see how it goes. But she said a lot of people is confused about the breakup and all that stuff. I said let them be, and she said you don't want to get people to think that you don't care about the opinions. It's not about she don't care about your opinions. But at the same time, she's not gonna let everyone to force her decision. And to decide if they want to split. And maybe maybe y'all will fight fight for them to stay together. But 
them two realize they can't be together right now. So, good. Maybe in the future, maybe in the future, some miracle might happen. They be back together and they realize, uh, act separate. They find them. They find themselves. But it's not. It's not the case now. So Jeff is having a guy's night out. Got John. John. Oh, John. John. But his John fashion sense is crazy. But he's a good looking guy. He's cool. He's single. He's the artist in the group. John. Barry, Barry, brother Ed, and Justin came and see Jeff. Jeff had a little night. Uh, he just explained to him how him and Reagan is good. We support each other, everything. Some of the men's is like that. We not too emotional in that fact that we will go into that thing. You say you're good. We approach, we support you. We'll be there for you when you need you. And that's how it is. That's what we need to be. No judgment. No one telling you how you should be. No all that stuff like Tamika is doing, but let it be, right? So, um, but John said, you know what? You were seeing us like that. We've been working out together, helping us like that. We be cool. We bonded now. You need a makeover. And I said, sometimes a makeover will make you feel good. Like, every time I get a haircut, I feel good. I love when I get a haircut. I hate when I don't get a haircut. And I feel woofy. And I said, oh, this don't look good. And I get a haircut, haircut and make it look like I'm very really younger than what I am. It's like that. So, it's like, it feels good. And good, good clothes, good outfits. So it make you feel good and have things like that. So get a makeover. Tamika and Barry's doing a pool party because they had a big pool. They send us to a pool party. So that's, that's good. They're going to do that pool party and have a good time. And he's going to make them over. So here comes the pool party. Decorated nice. Tamika had a personal assistant and manager because she said that she needed help. And she can't do everything by herself. So she has to hire a manager and personal assistant to help her. Got the party together. Everybody came. Kelsey and Justin came. Kelsey came all full body, showing her body and everything. That's just a pool party. What the fuck? What's wearing? Tamika is always a hateful, jealous chick. It's hating on Kelsey for every reason. It was like, oh my god. She was like, uh, it's like, why is she coming? She should have came on dressed up and like that before she coming like that. Why is she came on? Like, I will say it's a pool party. You come in your pool party attire, especially if it's nice out there like that. Come in your pool party to tie it and let her go. And she just had, she still had the robe that's over her thing. And she just was showing it out. It's like that. Her man ain't have a problem with that. I won't have a problem with that either. I said, show your body. Show some pool party. It's not like you're going to a freaking church or something. Then I won't have a problem with that. So, it's a pool party. She was hating on that stuff. Reagan came. Reagan came with her sister, Raina. Um, Jared, Tamika's cousin, was there. Tamika's brother came. Rachel, the friend, came late. I don't know what her role is, if she going to be a permanent spot, but it seems like a trailer. She is going to be part more and more scenes. And um, Jeff didn't come yet. And John didn't come yet. So they was talking, and Timmy was asking Reagan more again about it. After they had a sit down, she still asked her more. And she just feel baffled. It's baffled to me why, how y'all just be so good, better, buzzy buddies. And then also, she also bothered that Kelsey and Reagan is being cool right now. And Kelsey was talking about how her weight loss and her house she in the closet. And Timmy goes up there just rolling her eyes. I said, girl, you have that much energy to roll your eyes and feel bothered. I said, just walk, walk away. It's obvious you feel bothered. And it was getting me on my nerve watching her acting like that. I was like, all right, girl, we get it. You don't care for her. It's like that. Move on. Like, why you have so much opinions about everything? And she also had an opinion about um, Reagan. And the divorce because Reagan said, Oh, we good, we still talk to each other, we um talk every day and everything. And Reagan was, and Tamika was like, You in Deluge the Lana Land. It's like, come on, girl. It's like it's not normal that you be good buddies, buddy buddies with your ex husband and get the divorce and that thing. And Reagan said, It's good for us. We working out good. Yes, we still love each other. It's like that, but we are good. And she said, How you if Jeff come with a new girl, how you feel? She said maybe she will feel a little type of way, but she can't be that upset because y'all still, like, it's fresh. But at the same time, y'all have to move on. You got a new man right now, Megan, so move on. So to make it was so bothered. So she said, well, you need to work it out, this is that, and it's not normal. So she said, well, you and freaking Barry was divorced. And you was going to leave, but you're working out. But she said, uh-uh, I can't, how did you bring that in my face? Like, you trying to make a justification to make you feel good for you. I would say, she not trying, she was not trying to shame you, um, Tamika. And she was not trying to put you down. She was just like telling you that 
at one point, you and Barry was in your lowest point and you was going to leave. Me and Jeff made the decision to leave. Just because you don't feel like we shouldn't have um, worked it out, maybe they could, but they run their course. They say they was they were trying to work it out. It didn't work out fine. So just because y'all made it work out, this made that they couldn't work out, but doesn't mean they can't be good friends after they divorce. And that's what she, Tamika did get it. So Tamika walked away and had her little hissy fact because she said that her daughter right there, she don't know her daughter heard it. I said her daughter was even paying y'all, no mind, but whatever. She wanted to make them seem, seem, made it seem like Vega was so loud and made it embarrass at her. She had her moment. Tamika calmed down. They good and they all stuff. Um, John came in. Nice. He came with a fur coat with shorts on. I said, damn, John. Okay, only him he had to do that. He had a nice body, so I guess he got to look, he get away with that. He came, and then he showed Jeff. I said, Jeff, Jeff looking good. He, it went, throughout the whole the last season, Jeff had this ruffy ass hair, hair, hair in his face, his ruffled blonde hair. John gave him makeover, got him like a, um, I think he had a reddish brownish hair, a dark color hair now. He was blonde, now he dark colored, looking nice in his face, bring his features out. Got ear pierced, and he just feels so confident, like feels so good. And Vegas said, oh my gosh, look at you, you're looking nice, all that stuff. And here Tamika and Rachel was on the side listening and watching um, Reagan and Jeff talking. And Reagan start tearing, and they said they're good, and all that stuff like that. And she said, wow, you, you didn't have no makeup in my relationship. It's like that. And maybe sometimes he probably feels stuck. And now he's free, he's good. So they hug it out, and she's like, oh, that's a long-ass conversation. They still in love with each other. So I said, just shut your bitty bitches up. Like, stop it. I can't. I can't. But that's how it was. Uh, that was... The, yeah, that was, that's how it was. Um, Reagan left. She had to go home. We got to, we went to our house. She, we saw a man take a shower, and it was a light little white guy named Reese. I guess they will introduce him soon, I guess, next episode or so. But that was the first episode of the next season, y'all. It was good. It had some little moments and stuff like that. I appreciate Southern Charm. I like Southern Charm, New Orleans. I also like the regular Southern Charm. I wish I would have saw Southern Charm for the season first, but I'm not going to go back. So, but Southern Charm, New Orleans, I watched the first season, and I'm happy to start reviewing it. So, please like, comment, and subscribe to my channel, and also share my videos. And tell me what you think about this episode. Uh, Southern Charm, New Orleans, come on Bravo every Sundays. I think before. I think it come after Real House of Potomac. So after Potomac, Southern Charm come on, um, come on. So it's coming on Sunday, Sundays, and Bravo. So check, check it out, y'all. Peace.